So you're thinking about moving to Fort Worth, Texas? Well, in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at a new community on the south side of Fort Worth called Woodland Meadows. And if you stick around to the very end, we're going to see how that one stacks up against similar neighborhoods. And if this is your first time to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. And if you wanna be the first to know what's happening in the Texas real estate market, go ahead and hit that bell. Welcome to the channel. My name is Tom Jung. And I'm Jack Lisenby. And we're your local Dallas Fort Worth real estate agents. If you are in the market, we get phone calls every day from folks just like you, whether you're a few days or a few months out. So please don't hesitate to give us a call, shoot us a text, email, or click that link in the banner to schedule a time for Zoom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> or call, whatever. You can schedule whatever in the link. Uh, cool. Yeah. So today we're talking about Woodland Meadows. This is a new community. Um, one of the draws to Fort Worth or Texas in general is land, and yep. this community actually has some. So, um, if that's uh, if that's something that you're looking for, is you know not being right up next to your neighbor, this is definitely a great place to land. So, um, a couple of things about the neighborhood: it's in the Alito ISD, mm -hmm. which is fantastic. Uh, if you have watched any of our other videos on Fort Worth neighborhoods. <laughs> right <laughs> but uh alito is uh they're doing something right over there yeah they're definitely a big draw yeah so great football program too and with any kind of acreage also comes well and septic so those are going to be something if you're um wondering you know is that a pro or a con? Should I be excited or a little bit worried about having a well and septic? We've got uh, different videos on those we'll link to, so feel free to watch them. Not that big of a deal though. And then also it is uh, it is an HOA, small HOA fee, so you will have um, uh, a little payment. There's uh, like an entryway that they you know, make nice, it's not much. And then uh, the big draw, no city taxes. So if you've heard anything about Texas, we do have property taxes. They're a little bit higher, but out here, not as much. So uh, for those reasons, this is bringing a lot of folks in. These are all new homes going up. So if you like new stuff and some land, mm -hmm. you're watching the right video. Yeah, I think another big draw for that uh, neighborhood is actually its location as well. It's right off of US 377, which is a highway that goes southwest of Fort Worth. Um, you just take that straight out from Fort Worth and you'll see it right there on the right. Uh, but for a good frame of reference, it's about a 12 minute drive from the Benbrook area. So if you're looking for groceries, uh, restaurants, things like that, just a little coffee to pick up on your way to work, uh, take a quick stop by Benbrook on your way up there. It's right there off of 377. So it's very convenient and everything if you're getting in and out of the city. Uh, it's only about 20 minutes from Clear Fork. So if you're trying to do some real shopping where all of the boutiques and the fun stop, fun shops and everything are, it's only about a 20 minute drive. And if you go an extra five minutes to downtown Fort Worth, about a 25 minute drive straight from the, uh, the neighborhood itself, you've got everything that Central Fort Worth has to offer. And if you're trying to make it to the DFW airport, it's gonna be about a 45 minute drive because you do have to go diagonal all the way across uh, Fort Worth up to the HEB area. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it's really, really a pretty decent location. And you are like, you do feel like you're out of the city city when you get out there too, mm -hmm. right? But I was like, you're not even that far, all things considered, but like yeah. there's nothing around you. Yeah, for now. I mean, for now. Give it 10 years, we'll see. Uh, so as far as the housing goes here, like I mentioned earlier, these are all new homes going up. They are, uh, I think they've been building in here for a year. Well, probably, they probably started two years ago, but you know, it takes so long to complete a house. But uh, uh, in in this neighborhood, these are gonna be larger homes. These are gonna be like custom and semi-custom homes. So you're looking at 3,200 square feet or larger for most of these. And it's uh, it's similar to Bella Crossing. Uh, we'll talk about that a little bit later in the we compare the different neighborhoods. But uh, if you're familiar with Bella or the Bella neighborhood, it's going to be similar to that. The builders, there's two primary builders that are that I've noticed that are going up, putting quite a few homes up here. One is going to be in the builders, and they build a very nice house. Uh, I guess it's uh, more more of like a modern farmhouse, a lot more modern, I guess. I don't know, they have a couple different styles, but it's it's really nice product. And then you also have Hark Homes, which does what I would call like an elegant farm style. It's, I mean, they're, 
you know they do not stray from their path at all mm -hmm. and then you also have Everett J Everett Custom Homes who I had not heard of prior to this neighborhood I think they build primarily uh, west of the area I think a lot of Alito and Weatherford mm -hmm. um, and I just hadn't run across them yet but uh, I am a big fan from what I've seen they do a lot of uh, woodworking beams and they've just put a lot of thought into their homes like all the little stuff that you would want to see if yeah. you're buying a semi-custom or custom home it's like oh, that's they, pretty they've cool. done a good job <laughs> um and then uh hawkins uh is also building in there and i'm gonna go ahead and say it i feel like they screwed up on the they have one house on the market right now and they put 10 foot ceilings throughout their living room and kitchen mm. there's just eh. yeah i mean it, it's like their, their houses are great i've seen their houses yeah. but just what it's stacked up against yeah really this, kind of fell short given the the neighbors this one i feel like they plans went through and nobody noticed that it was you know <laughs> that they didn't like vault the ceiling or do something cool in there right and i was like oh. it's missing that pow factor yeah exactly but i'm sure it's a fit for somebody mm. um but uh but yeah, that's uh, another builder that's put quite a few in there. So hopefully, hopefully, um, hopefully they see this video and <laughs> build a way cooler house for us to sell. Uh, so the price point is going to be from about eight hundred thousand to one point four million is what we've seen in here so far. So obviously, the bigger the home, the more expensive it's going to be, and the more bells and whistles, all that kind of stuff. But uh, honestly, for an acre that close to town, it's really. I mean, you can't beat the price for a new home mm -hmm. right now. Um, I've done it. I've looked. Yeah, I've, uh, yeah, yeah. There's nothing like that. I, I could just tell you off the bat. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I will say that the, you know, the prices it seems like are going up very quickly in here, and I don't know if that's a result of the materials or the market or whatnot. But um, but yeah, it's definitely uh, definitely something to check out. Um, but yeah, Woodland Meadows. Oh, one other thing I forgot to mention. So when you come into this neighborhood, so it's like it's like one street that loops around. I kind of think of like a like a needle. Hmm. So oh, how it's uh, like a it's one long street goes all the way to the end, has a little loop, and then you just yeah. take the same street back. Yep, exactly. Okay, gotcha. And so there are so if you're looking to build in here, it's like at the beginning it's pretty clear and flat. So if you're wanting to maybe build a shop after you you know get your house or something like that, then one of the lots at the front may work well and then you've got like this tree you've got this wooded area which is really cool if you like privacy and then up at the top you've got um it's pretty wide open but you've got these really cool views that kind of look down into this valley mm -hmm. so there are some different uh i guess different elevations of the land and everything else so you've got some options if you you are looking to build there that's pretty cool. Yeah. At least with one street in, one street out, you don't have to worry about traffic. Kids can play in the street. You just got to worry about neighbors getting in and out of their place. Very true. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Well, uh, if you guys are in a huge rush and you can't wait for these houses to be built and you're looking for something similar, we actually do have a couple of suggestions for you that aren't even that far away. So when we say something similar, we're going to take a focus towards houses that have at least an acre of land, uh, at least 2.8 hundred square feet so on the larger side um, and that are in Alito ISD so uh, one of the first things that comes to mind is the Bella area it's huge it has three different areas and we're gonna start off with the biggest one first and that's Bella Flora this was I believe the original um, section of this neighborhood the OG yeah it's it's huge it's a gorgeous neighborhood it's a gated community these houses they're all like million dollar plus I think the cheapest ones I've seen over there are like nine hundred thousand yeah. and and it really does show because the architect the the stylizing choices that they made all phenomenal um, and right next door you actually have Bella Ranch also a gated community uh, these price points they dip down a little bit but not by much and you're really not missing out on much either again these they all have like these these huge windows these crazy elevations on the houses everything looks great in them so you're again phenomenal choice and the other one that i really want to touch on because this one has some new homes still available in it is the bella crossing area and this is at the very forefront of the neighborhood as you're entering from 377 uh the bella crossing area you'll see it right by the marquee they've still got lots available they're still building houses the builders are very active in that area um you're still looking at higher price point houses i think maybe a couple of years ago, you might have found found some around like the upper fours, but the vast majority of them are going to be like 600 up to like 900,000. Some of them dip into the millions, um, but they're all really nice houses. A lot of the same builders as well. So you've got like Kudo Homes, you've got um, 
Uh, double Ro- is Double Rock out there? Yep, yeah, Double, Double Rock's, Rock's out there. Out there. Um, there's a few other builders out there as well. All of them really nice uh, builders, really nice houses and products. Yeah, and we should mention that uh, depending on where you land in the Bella community, you might be in Alita or you might be in the Fort Worth School District, right? Mm-hmm. So it's yeah, yeah it's something I, to look out for. I think that's honestly why there's such a huge gap in the pricing between some of the stuff in Bella Crossing and some of the stuff in like Bella Ranch, Bella Flora, mm-hmm. because you can even get some comparable houses between those two neighborhoods, and it just depends on which ISD it falls in will really determine uh, the price point on some of those because there's a lot more demand, like we said, for those Alito um, houses. Um, and there's actually another community. If you're not if you're not really liking that little corner community there, there's one actually about 15 minutes up the road as you drive on. Um, if you want an extra acre for <laughs> less money, then go check out the Bear Creek uh, Maravilla Estates area. So these guys, you can probably you can get a comparable house for about a hundred to two hundred thousand dollars less for with an extra acre for just being an extra 15 minutes out essentially. Yeah. Um, you, you've been there. You've actually seen these. So Yeah, I mean, very, very similar homes. They're different builders, but it's, you know, it's all semi-custom, custom home builders that are building out there. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess at the end of the day, is it like, you know, what is an extra two and a half hours of your yeah. life Co- worth every week? A yeah. couple extra <laughs> bucks of gas a week. But if for- you're somebody that works from home or, you know, you don't mm-hmm. mind the drive or, you know, you, you're part of your, you know, work day is talking on the phone while you're driving then maybe it's not that big of a deal so it could Mm -hmm. be a place to check out (laughs) but uh uh anyways i think that's all we've got um on this video if uh if this didn't check the boxes for you please leave in the comments what uh what we were missing on this neighborhood for it to be perfect for you but as always if you're looking to buy or sell remember to keep calm call tom